Out and about Marathon Town with Mr. Marathon himself, Mike Pudo. Hello everybody, Mike Pudo here and our Out and About series continues now with the City of Marathon. Mike Pudo, Mr. Marathon and Out and About Marathon Town. And today we're talking with Mr. Roger Hernstad, who is our city manager. Roger, welcome Mike. aboard and good to have you here, my friend. Thank you so much, Mike. Our uh, first big question, are you enjoying it? Well, you know, Mike, it's been two years now and uh, it's been fantastic. My uh, family loves it here in Marathon. Uh, I have a 14-year-old son who enjoys going to Marathon Junior High School and uh, all the fun activities they have there. My wife is an attorney and she uh, enjoys being around town and working with a lot of the community groups. So it's been a fantastic change coming here and living here in the Middle Keys. Well, the, uh, there's a lot of, lot of neat things that are happening in Marathon and uh, you know, you've been an integral part of a lot of things that are going on here. And one of the big things I know is, is sewers uh, you know, coming up and uh, you know, the road getting repaved and everything and the new traffic lights. And you know, give us a little insight of what's happening, if you would, please. Well, uh, you know, Marathon has continued to uh, work through the uh, recent economic downturn to improve our city. We've uh, completed 100% of our wastewater will be completed for advanced treatment by the end of uh, March of 2012. We have put in stormwater uh, protection systems for uh, all our uh, local streets, and that also will be completed by March 2012. We've have completed the resurfacing of all our local streets and that combined with uh, the Florida Department of Transportation's completion of overlaying and improving overseas highway will basically put a marathon at a point where all our infrastructure will be 100% done and basically new and perfect for the next 20 to 25 years. Well, you know, that's, that's just, uh, it's exciting to see how Marathon has come from, you know, just becoming a city 12 years ago. That's huge, isn't it? Well, it's, it's amazing that the, all the political leaders who have been on the city uh, council and all the uh, past administrators and staff have recognized the importance of continuing to invest in our community and making it something that uh, is sustainable uh, for, for middle class families to come and live at and have the, uh, all the amenities that come with that and the uh, confidence to know that, uh, that they don't have to look at uh, uh, increases in taxes. You know, we have the, one of the lowest tax rates in the entire state of Florida. We have our um, uh, first class fire department as well as uh, excellent local police patrol services. So um, it just creates a great family environment for people to come live. Well, and speaking of a family environment, uh, you know, that's a, a nice, uh, nice programs that happen at Community Park with Parks and Recreation and as well as uh, getting the new grass down at the park. It really looks unbelievably great. Well, um, not only do we have a, a, a fantastic community park that pretty much has everything from bocce ball to a skate park to softball and baseball fields. We've just replaced the soccer field, as you've mentioned. Um, and pre tennis courts and pretty much any amenity you would like to in, in the area of athletics. Uh, we also have two beautiful beaches, Sombrero Beach and Cocoa Plum Beach, probably one of the nicest beaches uh, in the state. Um, we have uh, uh, several playgrounds for children. We have passive parks as well, uh, a rotary park, um, or we have a dog park, and uh, we have a lot of uh, recreational activities for people who are not uh, currently fishing or diving or going on their boat on a particular day. So they've got it pretty well made. I mean, Marathon is the place to be, isn't it? Well, you know, it's, uh, it's really amazing that um, people who come down here and actually spend some time in Marathon come to love it. Um, it's uh, just one of these types of places that you just can't really appreciate until you be, come down here and spend some time here. All of our amenities are free and open to the public and um, we hope that people will take time to come down and visit us, and we're sure once they do, you'll at least want to have a second vacation home here, if not your permanent residence. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've got it. Marathon is the place to be, and Roger, we can't thank you enough for spending some time with us here, and uh, you've got uh, good leadership, you've got a great staff here, and I know you're proud of what's happening in the city of Marathon. And of course, you know, Mike, it goes back to the city council, and they're the ones who provide the leadership to us, and uh, they do a great job, and uh, we just help uh, do our part. 
Well, you've got a great staff, and uh, like I say, everybody likes working for you, and they like working for the city. So can't thank you enough for being here, and you got it, gang. Until next time, this is the place to be, the City of Marathon.